I guess so. All right, we string together a lot of words on Great Day at 9A, but we're usually talking, not playing the game. That's true. And until today, our game guru, Jen Bartlett. Hey, Jen. From the Manchester Public Library is here to show us how to set up So Clover. Hi, Barbie. Okay. Hi, hey, folks. How are you? Hi. Right, this okay. looks really cool, and it's a cooperative wow. game. It is. I don't think we've done a cooperative game yet, so... Every month I'm trying to build new skills and yeah. teach you all new things. Um, but my dirty little secret as Ooh. a game player and the librarian and the shocks people is I don't like word games. You don't like Seriously? Boggle? No, I, I'm not a word game person. Interesting. And everyone's wow. like, oh, fuck. Everyone's always horrified. Yeah, that's but terrible. A friend uh, recently taught us this game, and I looked at him and I said, "You, uh, you are a winner, winner. You're you winner, winner. You've revolutionized word games for me, friend. Winner, winner, okay. chicken dinner. So, uh, we have in front of us our little clover piece, and we have an erasable marker that okay. we're going to be able to write on the edges here. Excellent. But I'm going to pass out to all of us, and I'm not going to do it right now because that's part of the. Um, game, uh, so don't look at this yet. Four word cards. Four word cards, okay. Okay. Now, when we go to flip them over, on all four sides are words. So on this one, we have fuel, luck, roll, and hook. Here we have patio, Africa, twins, and liquid. So what we will do when we actually go to play is we're going to place these down and where you place them down is where they're going to go because what we are trying to do is connect the two words that are like for here an example star and egg. We'd write a word that connects up here. So this is going to be easier said than done. This is oh, the challenging yeah. part yeah. because when we're all done with this, we're gonna take our word clue cards off. I'm gonna pass out a fifth clue card. And the two people who were not the one who wrote down on this are going to have to guess which two words on the cards match the one that is written on our clover thing here. Hmm. But we're each doing our own boards, You're right? You're each doing your own boards. I would think that yes. there would be one board we'd be both working off of. Okay. Yeah, so that's going to be the challenging part mm. is that, you know, after we take the cards off and add that fifth one in as a red herring of sorts, <laughs> we're going to have to, you know, kind of place them on and look and see and go, oh boy. And so it's figuring out how the other person's brain works, too, and how they connected the words. Mm -hmm. um, well, that'll take about a minute with me. Yeah. Trying to figure out how we, my brain we, works. Yeah, we might, might need the director to cue up a little bit of music. Yes, yeah, so they'll, they'll like be Jeopardy. a little... Jeopardy. Yes, yeah. Um, so that's, the, the goal is to correctly guess what each of us has put down in all four slots. And if we do that, we win. You win. We win. All right. And it, if we don't, we unfortunately are not so clover. Okay, oh, we're not so clover. <laughs> we would not be so clover. So yeah. So, um, do you like games like categories? Um, like more sometimes. Pictionary. Sometimes. Oh, I'm the world's worst drawer. Oh, okay. So, yeah. you, so what kind of games do you usually gravitate towards? Um, it, I can run anywhere from like when we did Happy Salmon mm -hmm. that time. I love Happy, Happy Salmon. That was fun. Happy That's salmon. a great yeah. one. <laughs> um, but I, there's like a new uh, Dune. Uh, two-player board game that's out there. Oh, like the Dune, the movie? movie? Yes, so yeah, in the oh, book series. Geez. And it's very high strategy. It takes about two hours to play. It's dice and card play, moving around on a board. Is it scary, too, like the previews are? Um, <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of worm um, miniatures that are on the board. Um, but it's, you know, I can go anywhere in between. But it's, hmm. it baffles people every time that word games are not my bread and butter. Because so I'm funny. a librarian. Should what's we, your, what's we, your favorite game? I think the Boggle. Boggle, really? Yeah. Oh, then you'll wow. be great at this, Scott. Well, this let's, this let's give it a, is going to speak to you. Can you do we, an example of... Sure. Um, and I'll deal myself out some new cards. Um, and you just place them down in any order. Yep, but once they're down, they're down. Once they're down, they're down. Uh, oh yeah, can boy. you look at them first or no? Yeah, we're going to look at that. Well, no, you're not no, supposed to. No, you're just going to put them down and 
kind of have to settle on what we have here. So I'm trying to find a word that will make sense that connects station and oasis. Okay. Now, this is also kind of how quickly can you think on your feet because, mm. you know, the game is only meant to be 30 minutes, obviously more with up to six players. You've got to right? join us on the wax to yeah. find out how to play Yeah, we're going to start thinking during we're, the commercial yeah. break. We're going we're gonna to get the, the brain going. There we go. Okay. Have yeah. a great day, everyone. Station and Oasis.